Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So in the last video, we completed uh, the 3D model of the driver component. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the driven wheel. So we're going to start off with a new part. So click on file, new and a part and click OK. So next, we are going to make sure that we have the right unit system. So let's convert our units to millimeters. And then uh, we are going to select our front plane to do the sketch. So we are going to be creating a few sketches first and then extrude. So let's get started off with the circle tool. Select the origin and uh, draw a small circle and we'll create two more circles. And just like last time, the second circle is going to be a construction geometry. So right click and do that. And now we are ready to assign the dimensions. Click on Smart Dimension. For the first circle, we're going to put in 10 mm. For the second circle, we're going to put in 90 millimeters. And finally, for the third circle, we're going to put in 200 millimeters. So now we are going to create a line. So let's click on the starting point. And the ending point is going to be here and hit escape to exit the line tool. Let's move the dimensions to the left. We are going to convert this line into a construction geometry. So let's do that. And we are going to be creating an offset. Select the line and we're going to do bi-directional offset. And uh, we're going to use cap ends. And let's make sure that arcs is selected under the sub options and uh, for the dimensions, type in 5.5 millimeters and click OK. So now we are going to create a circular pattern. So let's go to circular pattern and uh, let's select the entities. And for number of instances, we are going to type in 5 and we are going to click OK. Now, just like last time, our new sketch is underdefined. And to fix this, we are just going to click on our pattern, move it and select the center of the pattern, select our origin tool, and we are going to select make coincident. And this is going to fix the problem. Now we are going to go to the power trim tool and we are going to trim off the extra edges that is not required. All right, so our sketch is now fully defined. Uh, now let's create one additional line. Select the first point and select the second point. Now we are going to modify this line so that it is a construction geometry. Right click and do that. Now, just like the last time, we are going to create another line and uh, we are going to make this into a construction geometry as well. Now we are going to be setting up some dimensions. So click on Smart Dimension, select the first line, the second line, and type in 36 degrees. Similarly, select the third line and the second line and type in 36 degrees. All right. Now we are going to select both of our construction lines and we are going to click on Make Equal. Next, we are going to create another circle. So go to the circle tool, click on perimeter circle. So we need three points, point number one, point number two, and point number three. Once you hit escape, we are going to convert this into a construction geometry. And we are going to select this particular point and draw a normal circle. So select that, drag it out, and create uh, one more circle. Okay, so then hit escape. And now we're going to be setting up dimensions. Click on the inner circle and type in 10 mm. And select the outer circle and type in 106 mm. And then click OK. Oh, actually, this particular circle is not required, so I'm just going to delete this. So next, we are going to go to Trim, Power Trim, and select the unwanted edges. All right, and then click on OK. So now we are going to select this curve and uh, go to circular pattern and 
and make sure that the arc is selected properly and provide phi as the number of instances click ok this is going to result in underdefined sketches so we are going to pull our circular pattern and then select the center of our circular pattern the origin and click make coincident now click on trim entities use the power trim and delete the unwanted edges so let's click on ok and our driven wheel is done so now we are going to extrude the sketch so go to extruded boss base select this particular sketch and you will see that our uh, preview is uh, available right now make sure that you put the right distance and that's basically it so now we have created our driven wheel and let's just click on save and save it as geneva driven all right so now that we have completed both the parts we are going to create an assembly so click on file new and assembly and click ok so this is going to open up a new assembly file so let's load in the parts click on browse and select the two parts that you have actually created so now you can see that the driven component is going to get added automatically and then the driver now in SOLIDWORKS the first component that gets added cannot be moved all right that's because it's actually fixed so we are going to first unfix it so we select the component that was added first right click and then select float so this lets us move the first component so the second component can be moved by default now our objective is to assemble both these two components by adding some constraints so now I'm going to select the front plane of the driver and the front plane of the assembly and click on coincident right so this is what you call as a mate mating can be done using another way you can go to assembly click on mate and for example I can just select these two faces the top two top faces and I can uh, create a mate now I don't want to do it so I can cancel right so what we're going to do is we're going to enable temporary access click on visibility off and select view temporary axis so this is going to help us visualize these axes so now let's go to mate and we're going to select this axis and in the feature tree we're going to select the top plane and we're going to coincide this then we select the axis again select the right plane and do coincidence again now we're going to do the same thing for the driven component select the axis and select the assemblies right plane and do a coincidence mate all right so we're going to create the next mate click on the mate tool and select the front plane of the assembly and the front plane of the driver all right and click on distance mate and type in 10 millimeters and we are just going to click OK now I almost forgot I don't think I modified my unit system so let's change it to millimeters okay now you can see that the driver can be rotated about its axis because we have constrained it properly but the driven mechanism can kind of move in a 2d space right which is bad and it can also rotate so we need to add additional constraints to fix this now to fix this I can select these two axes and provide a distance mate however I need to first know what is the center to center distance so for that we are going to open the original part file of the driver so let's click on file open and uh, let's open the driver so we are first going to enable the sketch that we created so click on show and uh, let's look at the entire model from the front plane go to evaluate measure and we are going to be measuring the distance from this point to this point so let's select them and you can see that distance is triple one point zero two millimeters so now we can go back to our assembly 
and then we can hide this sketch and what we're going to do is go to mate we're going to select the center axis for the driver the center axis for the driven and uh, provide a distance mate and type in the distance of triple one point zero two millimeters and click OK all right so now we can see that the position is almost right and you can see that I can actually rotate it and both these components are now quite well constrained so now what we need to do is uh, we need to make sure that the overlap is not there so we can just manually move this so that there is a small distance between the two components so now we can go ahead and disable the temporary axis and we are almost set to do the motion study and that would be the multi-body dynamic simulation and we will be seeing that in the next video thank you bye